SwiftUI's list view is a great way to show scrolling lists of data, but sometimes you want columns of data. You want a grid of information that can adapt to show more information on larger screens. Now in SwiftUI, this is accomplished with two dedicated views, lazy hgrid for showing horizontal data and lazy vgrid for showing vertical data. Now, just like with lazy vstack and lazy hstack, the lazy part in the name of these views means SwiftUI will automatically load the contents of the view lazily. It'll wait till the moment's being shown on the screen and then finally load the view, meaning we can display a lot more data without chewing through lots of system resources. Now, creating a grid is done in two steps. First, we define the rows or the columns we want. We only define one of the two, depending on which kind of grid you want. For example, let's say we want to have a uh, vertical scrolling grid. We might say we want our data laid out uh, in three columns, exactly 80 points wide. So let's say in our uh, content view here, our layout is an array of grid item with a fixed size of 80. And then another one fixed to 80, another one fixed to 80. So three grid items in our array here. Once we have this layout defined, we can then place our grid inside a scroll view along with all the items you want to be inside that grid. Now, each item you assign in the grid is given a column in the same way that rows inside a list are placed inside uh, their own list rows automatically by their parent. For example, we could say I want a thousand items in a scroll view. Let's do a scroll view here with a lazy regrid inside with the columns being our layout. So with three equal width columns. Inside there, I'll do for each zero to a thousand with text of item dollar zero. And boom, I'll, I'll press command R so you can see it run on the big screen uh, more easily here. Um, we get this huge scrolling list of items here. As you can see, it counts horizontally first. So zero, one, two, then three, four, five, and so forth. Each one is sized at exactly 80 points across. And that works great for some situations. But the best part about grids is they can work across a variety of screen sizes. And so rather than saying, you know, be exactly three fixed columns, we can say, actually, I want to have one adaptive column like this with a minimum size of 80. And we're saying now, I want to make sure that uh, Swifty Y can just fit as many columns as possible in our layout, as long as there are at least 80 points in width. And so now when I run it back, we should see four columns fit in there. But if I happen to be in landscape, how many is that? Like eight? <laughs> eight columns fit in here now because there's much more screen space. So it adapts more well to larger screens like a landscape uh, Pro Max, for example. So that means SwiftUI is free to adaptively lay them out with inside that range of at least 80. You can, if you want to add a maximum size as well, let's do a maximum of 120. Now I tend to rely on this adaptive style of sizing the most because they, they allow grids to make the maximum use of the available screen space. If someone's got you know, a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, they've got a big screen. Don't try and squeeze the same information for that device down to an iPhone SE because it'll look silly adapt and let them have more columns as necessary. Now before we're done, I want to briefly show you how to make horizontal grids because the process is almost the same. Um, you want to make sure your horizontal uh, scroll view is in place. So I'll do uh, scroll view dot horizontal. And then you want a lazy H grid here with the rows of your layout, not lazy V grid with columns for your layout. Otherwise the same. So I'll press command R. And now we should see we scroll horizontally again, 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 like that. Boom. Great. So that brings us to the end of the overview of this project. So just press uh, Command Z again, 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 to go back to the original layout for your uh, code. Reset to the original state, ready to be in the actual project.